Hello, Sora. This is my big 80 gallon aquarium. And uh, right next to it is 10 gallon quarantine tank. And right now there are a whole crap load of small green sunfish in here. And um, they're to feed to my frog and the big fish in there. And there's also this guy. He's a, a rice field crab from Asia. I got him recently. He's molted. He's got the real big claw now. And um, I had a little virile crayfish in here. And um, I don't know if I talked about that, but that virile crayfish was a juvenile for one. And um, it was way smaller than him. So. We'll see what happens when I put an adult red swamp crayfish in here. Because red swamps are typically way more aggressive than virals. So I'm going to grab one out of that big tank and we'll see what happens. Alright, so here I have the uh, crayfish. And so they're similar size, but we'll see what happens when he goes in. Fish is in. What you doing, I'm putting a crayfish in with the crab to see how they react with each other. Okay. He's going under the bottle now. The crab's still chilling. Being all red like that, the crab, sorry, the crayfish just looks angry to start with. But he hasn't found the crab yet. We'll see what happens. So I went ahead and fed them now. And, um,. They're still in the back over here, but okay, yeah, they're so kind of ignoring each other. So far, they're just totally chill with each other. Neither one's getting aggressive. The crab's already eaten like three or four times today. The crayfish hasn't, and um, so he might smell the food. There's a two catfish, a channel catfish in there. But crab versus crayfish. So far, it's not happening. I put little high protein catfish pellets over on the other side in front of that bottle in the far corner over there. And um, nobody's doing anything about it yet. So we'll see what happens. Right, here goes. So this is the fork for the fork, and then you could just lay it there because you've got a big puddle right in front. Okay. I just don't want you to fall. Because the floor is there. My grandmother, I spilled some water on the floor when I took the crayfish out. Go on, get out of the way, little fishy. So they're kind of grabbing each other's claws. Well, Crab grabbed crayfish. Oh, here we go. Now crayfish is getting to be normal crayfish behavior. The red swamp are very aggressive. That little virile didn't stand a chance against the crab. The funny thing is, he actually had similar body size to this red swamp. Yeah, although his claws were way smaller and his temperament was way milder. But, yeah, looks like the crayfish just wants to get past. The crab's like, hell no. Oh, he got his mouth right there. I saw him today. The, uh, the crab with that big claw. I had never really seen him use the big claw before. And um, he grabbed a hold of one of those green sunfish and he wrecked it. See, I'll show you right now. See that well, that one right there? See his eye? That's not normal. See, like, here's a regular... Oh, come on, hold still, hold still. A regular green sunfish eye. There's no, like, giant hole behind it. And that was from just getting pinched once, that guy. 
And so, but yeah, he, he, for some reason the transport was really hard on him or her on that one. So, was, but yeah, so the crab managed to grab it and just crushed its face with the big claw. I'm thinking the small claw is very similar in strength to the crayfish. Still at a standstill. Neither one seems to know what to do about the other. focus here both are really pretty animals the crab wasn't nearly this purple when I got him but he's he's molted since I put a video about that and um, he looks way better now and that claw was similar size to the right claw and now it's humongous the left one was Crayfish tries to go under, tries to go over, and none of it's working. And that crab's just too strong. He's like, this is my hidey hole, my area. Crayfish is not giving up. See, I knew there would be a confrontation between these two because the red swamp are just so vicious. They're the type that's usually you usually find in pet stores is the color morphs and whatnot. And, um, but yeah, they're violent. Those and the, uh, the yabbies from Australia, the T-Rex genus. Faxonius is, I think, what this genus is. Sorry, no, no, this genus is not Faxonius. Uh, Faxonius is the one that the virals are in. I don't know the genus or species for the red ones here. But they're cool. They're a lot of fun, but yeah, they're definitely violent. And they will hurt your fish if the fish let them. So far the crab has only done that one bit of damage to the, uh, the green sunfish because it was weak and he just figured he could grab it. Crayfish is not giving up. Crab has the advantage, but... Oh, oh, is he backing off now? Oh boy. The crab might be backing off now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he's... I don't know what he's doing. He's going up there. This is interesting, though. They're similar size. Well, I think it's safe to say that was a tie. They both kind of got tired of fighting the other and stopped. Oh, crab's trying to get that fish. Run away, little fishy. Alright, so I just stopped filming and then it started up again, so here we go. The crab's just got that enormous claw. And it's just, whenever that claw gets there, the crayfish has to back off. But, um, yeah, this is interesting. Oh, now the crab's leaving. He's like, alright, I'm done with you. Maybe. Who knows what he's doing. Crayfish was just trying to hide there for a while. He just went under and started hiding. And 
crab here was not having it. Well, for those of you who don't know, crabs, they do have a tail. Come on, focus. Focus, see that's his tail. Poop, Mary pooped. And just like a crayfish, they poop out of the base of their tail. So, where the, where the fins begin on a crayfish, that's where they poop out of, that's where their hole is. And same on crabs, it's just curled under, so they have to open it like that. Which is pretty cool, actually, because you don't really see them open that very often. And a female crabs will hold their eggs under their tail as well. So it's interesting. But. Anyway, they're just kind of chilling next to each other now, so bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.